Okay, so we basically have this weekend these two streams to do as much Pokemon Legends Arceus as we can because on Monday it's obviously Minecraft Monday and then on Tuesday WWE 2K22 comes out and I will be streaming that for the remainder of the week. Uh, so we're going to get as much done as possible. I'm still a fourth star. We need a uh, third star. We need a fourth star before we can do anything else. We've seen 69 Pokemon. Nice. Um, so we need to we need to get some more quests done for people, don't we? So let's uh, let's have a look at them requests. Sorry, requests. Like yeah, complete enough research tasks to reach the rank of four star is what we need to do. Pokedex entry for Cherry. Okay, so let's let's have a goosey goosey gander at Cherry, shall we? Got it alphabetically because I'm an amateur. I don't even have a dex entry for Cherim. Okay, so I don't even know where to find Cherim. So next, next uh, option, please. Craft a Pokeshi doll. I feel like I know how to do that. Let's have a look. I feel like I know how to do that. Yeah. Well, that's easy, isn't it? Okay, let's let's track that quest. Take it back to them. Regarding a rare pony to go get the details from Yota, one of the local villagers. Okay, so yeah, we're going back to uh to Jiba Life, aren't we? Basically. Yes, please. Back to Jiba Life to show off this doll. Thing that we've made and then we're going to get the details on the next quest next request hmm what's this why that's a pokeshi doll if ever i saw one please let me have a closer look here you go mate amazing just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. <laughs> and these colours! <laughs> He's so excited, isn't he? You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Is that like a weird shadow? Has he just got like a massive scar on his cheek? Like, there's weird shadow in like his dimple and on the end of his nose, so I'm thinking it's shadow, but it just looks like... Like, he's just really upset his cat, doesn't it? Anyway, yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Sure, yes. That's what I was going for. I think I think it is just shadow, but it looks weird from side profile, doesn't it? Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. He's very impressed, isn't he? Whew! Thank you, I've savoured your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We used the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. No. No, I shan't. Right, so next mission. Peculiar Ponyta. Who do I need to speak to? About this. Someone over yonder. Okay. Hello. You're here to you're here about my ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem: a ponytail like no one's ever seen has been appear has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. Looks so different than the other ponytail; it's a little scary, to be honest. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it, so he agreed to have the ponytail surveyed and see what's what. If you'd head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange ponytail for us, it'd really help us out. Okay, is it shiny? Over there, yes, exactly, Key. Thank you for the guidance. I wonder if it's a shiny one. It's either going to be a shiny one, or it's going to be like a one of the red eyes, angry ones, isn't it? Like, I can't think how else they're going to vary it. Unless it's a regional thing. I've not heard of Hisuian Ponyta, but it... Maybe there's two types of Ponyta? I've seen regular Ponyta already.
Where do I want to go? Wait, which one is this? Fieldlands Camp. Okay, yeah, I'd like to go here, please. Look at me actually planning things, not just dropping myself in a random spot. Hello, Bidoof. Look at Bidoof! I love Bidoof. It's just like, hey, hey, human. I'm friend. Doesn't attack you, doesn't run away. It's just like a friendly little Bidoof. Amazing, I know, right? Medicinal leak. Why not? Is there anyone we actually particularly need to train? Oh, never mind. I suppose Celio can still evolve, so we should use that. Someone's trying to attack. I'll fight you. Let's have a gander at this ponita, shall we? Ponita, ponita. <laughs> Gasp. <gasps> it is. It's shiny, isn't it? Oh, look at you. Oh, it's an unusual ponita. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> ponita, I want to be your friend. There's a little flourish and everything. That's so cool. So, I mean, it's a red shiny, so it's about as much value as the red Gyarados in gold and silver, but still a shiny. It's not a rigged catch, though. Okay. What are you saying, Ponita? You can't see nothing. You can't see nothing. Tempted to fight it. We use three Pokeballs, and when we get down to 20 remaining, I will fight it. How's that? Why are you in the water? You're a fire type, you lunatic. Absolute nutter. The hell was that massive thing over there? Hey! You caught the unusual opponent, so time to report back to Yota in the village. Oh my god, look at the size of that Rapidash! Holy hell balls, no, run away. Don't like Drifloons. They attack me. I like Bidoof, they're nice. They'd, Bidoof is like probably the objectively correct answer to if you could have any Pokemon as a pet, what would you choose? Bidoof's a great choice because it just, it's just chill. It's like one of the closest ones to just being an actual just pet. Like a puppy. Yeah, um, Rockruff's a good shout, I would say. Because it's just a... Uh, 
It's just a rock type. Um, so it's not particularly dangerous. Like, a Growlithe would be a terrible choice because it's like a fire type that could burn your house down if it gets annoyed for some reason. You know, like... Um, Hooray, not enough points. What was, what was I going to say then? So yeah, Rockruff being a puppy would be a good choice as well. Um, but, like, Bidoof just being a normal type. Super chilled, cute, small, friendly by the looks of things. You know, like, just great choice. And team Bidoof all the way. You can just imagine, like, having one wandering around your house and just going to sleep on your bed. Can't imagine that with a Growlithe, growl because it might set your bed on fire if it farts in its sleep or something. As cute as Growlithe is. It's a really good example of a very appealing Pokemon that is not a good choice as a pet. I see you caught that strange ponytail. You survey calls, call folks, sure don't mess around. You know, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised when he saw the ponytail herds out in the field lands. He couldn't wrap his head around their fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by, but now I know some ponies are have blue flames. It's not such a stretch to think there might be all sorts of them out there. I'm not just talking about ponies, I mind. Who knows how many different coloured, differently coloured Pokemon there are in the world. I hope the survey card keeps trying its level best to research them all. And you didn't ask me for the shiny, which is great. Because I didn't want to give you it. Okay, awesome. Alright, more requests. Okay. Will of the Wisp, eh? I feel like Bidoof's a better choice than a Rattata as well. Rattata has the same appeal being just a normal type and just, just a normal animal. But just like Bidoof just seems friendlier somehow than Rattata. Sentret, another... Route 1 normal type would be probably up there in Bidoof territory, I would say. But I, pref I personally prefer Bidoof, so I would choose Bidoof. So we want height scan this time. And I can't think what the uh, third gen one is off the top of my head, having never played through third gen. What's the third gen Route 1 basic Pokemon? I actually don't know. Bye, Felicia. Haha, -ha, Zubat, screw you. Oh, it's a Chimchar. Nice. Hey, Chimchar. Hello. Bring it on. I'll fight you. Oh god, Celio's gonna wreck this thing if I fight it, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna cost some balls, I reckon. Nice! Easy catch. I feel like Pokeballs are more powerful in this game than in all games. You don't catch a starter with one Pokeball in previous games. Or maybe the catch rates are just because it's not a starter in this game. Maybe. Go back to Pyra, Pera, whatever. What's well, she got a nice Pera? And show her the Chimchar you caught. Can do. Bye. Run away. Get up there, you idiot. Ta-da! Hello! <laughs> Can't touch this. Bow, wow, wow, wow.
Oh, I forgot I have to do this every single time. Oh good, that was quite a lot of points actually. I'd like to return to the village, please. Return to village. Over at bridge. Over at bridge. Have you come to show me the Will of the Wisp I saw? Wow, look at all these catches. A Pokemon? It's Pikachu! Uh, but I'm certain what I saw was a Will of the Wisp, you know? Hmm, I should look at this Pokemon at night? Okay, if you say so. Oh. God damn. Um, so I can just go out to the nearest base camp and sleep till it's night and then come back, can't I? That seems like a plan. Oh yeah, I can't go there at the moment, can I? There we go. You just stand on a bridge holding a pot of honey or something there. Weirdo. Yep. Here you go. Look at that shiny, fiery butt. Your butt is on fire. Your butt is on fire. But that's it. That's the will of the wisp I saw, right? So it was a Pokemon all along. In any case, you caught it just like you promised. The survey cards really are a talented bunch. Now I just have to explain the whole thing to Waka somehow. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Gah! Uh, will, will, will of the Wisp? <laughs> no, save me, sis! Ah! <laughs> well, that'll make it easier. Look at the stupid grin on my face! Tim shall come down? Yep, awesome. Okay, uh, next please. We're just bashing through requests today. Okay, that's a really long one. 107. Wait, is there no update on how many I've got? Nine wisps so far, 98 more to find. Since you've now gathered five wisps, here's a little thank you for present for me. Awesome. Oh, okay. Find one more, I'll give you a little reward. Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> no, <laughs> what did you want again? <laughs> um, okay, right, so the wisps are just gonna have to be like a, a side quest, aren't they? They're probably in all parts of the map where I can't. necessarily find them that easily anyway. There we go. 
Right, what's this one? Find the Pokemon with three leaves and the Crimson Myelins to catch one to give to her niece. Crimson Myelins, can I even go there? Pokemon with three leaves. I don't. You know what? I don't even know what Pokemon that's referring to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Roselia's Pokedex entry. Okay. So. So I do want to go to Crimson Mylands. Do you know? I don't know. I want to go to Gate Jar Bug, don't I? So that's closest to this one. I think. 